Hello, people of Earth. My name is Kapoor, and uh, welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time pedal show, pedal of the year 2019 pedal show extravaganza. Wow, that was a mouthful. I'll, I'll just use the initial of each sure. thing. It'll be really long. Yeah, so uh, I know you've all been waiting for this because, you know, you all have a life. Hey, um, it is the Academy Awards of the pedal world. Yeah, our I mean, pedal world. So basically, we've um, given out awards to our favourite videos, favourite products and stuff that's happened this calendar year from 2019. Yes, so stuff that we've done this calendar year. So it doesn't matter if a pedal was released this year or last year or 20 years ago, uh, whenever it was released, as long as we've done a video of it this year. So that's that's all we're looking at. Yeah, just because there's some vintage stuff in there as well. Yes. As well as brand new products. Yes. So, uh, oh, as well as, there's links below to a podcast where we talk about how we came up with this decision. So if you want to listen to us for an hour, about an hour and 20 minutes mm. of how we came up with the decisions and the, the, there's a few fist fights in there and stuff like that. So um, yeah, link to that. That should be, hopefully, if technology works the way technology hopefully works, it will hopefully be released at the same time. Hopefully. That's what's hopefully. <laughs> so uh, yes. So now, to start off with, uh, you may ask yourself, Gabor, why are you wearing this rather uh, gorgeous uh, sweatshirt, uh, long sleeved, oh, oh, when it's hey, when it's really hot outside in summer here? Hey, Gabor. Yes. Why the hell are you wearing that? <laughs> oh, this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, <laughs> one of the things we did, we have, uh, we we always seem to add new categories to the Pedal of the Year awards, and this is not necessarily a pedal in any way, shape, or form. But we are now having an official, and it may be something that we do every year, may only be every couple of years, depending on the severity of awesomeness. But <laughs> but uh, we now have an official Super Fun Awesome Happy Time Pedal Show Hall of Fame. Mm. Yeah. And the first inductee mm. to the Super Fun Awesome Happy Time Pedal Show Hall of Fame is the man behind all this. <laughs> no, uh, Henning Pauli from HP42. So congratulations, Henning. You are first official, whether you like it or not, inductee to the Super Fun Awesome Happy Time Pedal Show Hall of Fame. Yep. So Henning, uh, you know, I think probably if you do YouTube videos, um, uh, YouTube demos, reviews, you would have in one way or another encountered Henning, Henning and or you watch reviews. That's what I'm getting at. Um, you would have encountered Henning, and Henning is one of these guys. Everyone on the shirt, and there's lots of lots of guys on the shirt. Uh, yeah, wearing a shirt with lots of guys on it. It's good. Uh, <laughs> he sort of helped everyone out, and he does lots of st stuff for everyone. And he's just generally really awesome and really lovely guy and really giving guy. I know that all sounds kind of funny now, like, but slightly in love with him. Slightly, no, 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 no. <laughs> He's a, just an awesome guy, and uh, I thought after, especially after the whole Forty Two Gear Street thing he put on this year, and this is a good way of us brown nosing to get into Forty Two Gear Street Two next year, um, <laughs> which hopefully will happen. Uh, we thought we'll induct Henning into the Super Fun Awesome Open Done Pedal Show Hall of Fame. Mm. So, Henning, congratulations. Mm. Uh, it's probably the greatest honor you'll ever receive in your life. So. Yeah. Congratulations. So, yeah, sucked in for that. Yes, yes, yes. Now, to the actual gear, which yes. is way more important than people. Yes. What uh, should we start off with? So, I've got my phone here with all the results. So, what should we start off with? Let's, let's just start at the top and we'll leave pedal of the year until the very end. Yes. Because there's okay. a few things. So right up the top. Um, oh, actually, before we keep going as well, there's just a couple of people I just wanted to uh, just do a quick shout out to. Uh, because there's a bunch of people that constantly leave comments and are always nice and friendly comments throughout the year. So just a quick shout out to uh, the one, the only Poo Ninja. Yes. <laughs> the man, Poo Ninja. Uh, Randy, uh, Wilfried, Ben Coombs, now Choi D H. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce that, but Choi C H O I D H. Matt Gilbert, J Steen. I'm sure there's others, but they're sort of the ones that that pop into my head. They seem to leave comments on just about every video. So thank you so much for being part of this and for leaving comments and watching our silly show. And um, yeah, so that's just a quick shout out to to those people. Now, first on the list, I have most fun video. So it was a new category last year, um, yes. but basically we're looking at the video that we had the most fun making. And that's sort of now, there's two categories in that as well that we came up with. Mm. 
So the first one we did, which is the one we did, was the mood slash blow with D on the sax player. I think there's two videos actually. Is there one or is there two? Oh. Do we do one with him or two with him? I think there's one with the mood with him and then another one with some other effects. Oh, possibly. Yeah. Okay. So this so. is, uh, we've done basically a series of videos uh, with the Zorg Blow. The Blow is basically uh, this sort of mic preamp thingy with, uh, with an effects loop in it. So you can run guitar effects through microphones. Uh, and we did a video with the uh, Chase Bliss Mood, this thing. Uh, and with Dion, our friend Dion on saxophone. And that was a lot of fun. So that's the winner of the most fun video. Very fun. But then we have a, I have a second category mm. because uh, I went <coughs> again to this thing last year. And in all honesty, probably the, the, the hardest I've laughed in a long, 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 long time was all the videos I did with Ryan Burke from 60 Cycle Hum, uh, where he was Ryan Camp. So it was myself, it was Mike from China Guitar Skeptic. RJ Ronquillo was uh, editing, doing the switching, I mean, and Ryan was standing there, he, was, look, he looked like a bouncer doing Ryan Cam, and to me that was just the, probably the most funnest thing I've ever done, it, been part of in my life, it was, it was great, and nice. just to, the, the, the way everything worked was really, really good, so congratulations to uh, Ryan, Mike, uh, and RJ for being sort of somewhat involved in this. Just the look of it, I've, I've never got on with strats, or S types in my life. Let's just who cares. Um, but this thing, it just looks so lovely. I like strats. I've never got on with a relic. But, but <laughs> and and that one's that one's interesting. So what does Ryan think of the relicking? He loves relicking. See there you go. <laughs> you may have just we, burped. We had he did. I, <laughs> I heard it and then I got the draft and then I smelt it. <laughs> Nice. Lovely. The things well, we have to put up with for yeah. you guys to watch this nonsense on YouTube. <laughs> so, and the other thing also is a video that wasn't even on our channel, but um, uh, Averick from Living, Living Room Gear Demos. Hi, Averick, all the way in the way. We did a video where uh, we basically, it was the two most metal guys at 42 Gear Street, and we played through a massive angle amp, and then we ended up playing ukuleles through it. Um, so I'll put a link to that video below as well. Um, check it out. But that was a lot of fun. And heaps of people came in to the video and sat in. And Trey from Gear Gods was making metal faces at us. And metal was, faces? Yeah, it was two of them. So it was just a really fun video. So I thought I'd include that as well. So that's the winners of the best, uh, most most fun video of 2019. Very Congratulations. Cool. Maybe we should try and get a clap track or something. And put it on there. Yeah. yeah. Okay, next. Um, next on the list. Okay, best drive. Best drive. Cool. There's a couple of honorary mentions, wasn't there? Now there were lots of honorable mentions. Um, uh, definitely some stuff from Mostronics, which we always love. From Andrew. So I mean, that was one of the one of the trickiest ones because out of the 170 something videos we did last year, um, oh, Siri turned on for some reason. <laughs> oh, hello, Siri. Um, out of that 170 something videos we did last year, the majority of them would have been drive pedals. Yeah. So I was actually going to split it into three categories: overdrive, distortion, and fuzz. But Alex said, "No, let's not do that." Let's be ruthless. So we had just to name a few, but these are all exceptionally good mm -hmm. pedals. We've got the Bogner Ecstasy Red, the Rev G3, the Mostronics Who What, and Mostronics Orange E, the Milos Popovich uh, custom pedals Oziac. The Dazzatronics BSI-8B2, the RML uh, Retro Mechanical Labs Clean Overdrive Ver, the Nobles ODR Mini, 
the Mostronics Tonemeister, the Bogner Ecstasy Blue, the Rev G2, the Fairfield Circuitry Unpleasant Surprise. Is that what it's called? Unpleasant Surprise, yes. The Supro Fuzz, the Dan Electro Dan Owa, and a DoD Classic Fuzz. Uh, plus, I think you mentioned, these are just the ones I wrote down yeah. of mine. I don't know, what, did you put any other? I think plus mean? the um, Stone Deaf. Uh, trashy Blonde. Trashy Blonde, which is great. Which actually lives on my board now, so that's how much I that's like a, it. Out that's of a that, very that's good That's a strong sign. list. So. so that was that took the longest to get a winner out of. But yep. the winner of, of the official best drive of the year 2019 is... All the way from Canada. Um, Hang on, the, just put over here it's, so you can see it from the camera. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All the way from Canada, the Fairfield Circuitry Unpleasant Surprise. Killer fuzz with just lots of different yeah. interesting options. And we thought it sort of, it was probably the most different sounding drive we did this year. Two reasons for this one. One, because you kind of get lost in it. Yeah. And it makes you place something you're not sort of typically going to play. Yeah. So I guess you had a comfort zone. And also, uh, just because it's fun. Yeah. And, and playing guitar is supposed to be fun. Yes. So. Super winner. fun and awesome in a happy time yeah. sort of way. Uh, so congratulations, so, yeah. Fairfield Circuitry. Congratulations once again. <laughs> Thank you, Alex. Uh, next. <laughs> Classic. A uh, total classic. Uh, the so this was a new category last year as well. Mm. The best pedal that makes a guitar guitar sound like it's not a guitar pedal. Uh, the best pedal that makes a guitar sound like it's not a guitar pedal. So basically, it's a pedal that will make your guitar sound like it's not a guitar. <laughs> it's all in the title, folks. So we had um, we didn't have that many of them this year. No, last year we had quite a few. We did quite a few because yeah. we did a couple of guitar synths and stuff. We need to do more guitar synths. Mm. Uh, 2020, oh, yeah. send yeah. us more guitar synths. Um, so this year, we really only had two. Mm. Uh, we yep. had the Chase Bliss Mood, yes. and we had the, on a mod duo, um, by the, it goes under the name of Remain Calm, the Avocado Stutter delay stutter pedal yep. uh, and we picked uh, as the winner of the pedal that makes a guitar sound least like a pedal or like a guitar Ooh, should oh. I get it? yeah I, I, I get it. it's the mood yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's a uh, track here yes so it's it's it, it can make it sound like a guitar but it also can make it not sound like a guitar at all mm. so we picked the mood so congratulations uh, to Joel and chase this audio for yet another win. Yeah, that was a bit more interesting. Uh, it sounded like it was windy. It's <laughs> very cool. Okay, next, um, best new brand. Mm. So I think last year we had, uh, there was a new category as well, and I think we had Mostronics and... 
Who was the other winner? I don't know. That was a year ago. It was a year ago, yeah. But we had we had oh, and a mod mod devices. I think there were yeah. two more strong mod devices. Um, so this year again, we have two best new brands. So my best new brand and Alex's best new brand. Do you want to go first? Sure. Okay. Do you remember what your best new brand was? Stone Devils. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I just I did think yesterday last night. I'm gonna honorary mention to. Um, these people who sent us guitars. Oh, Eastwood, yeah, Eastwood guitars. But we haven't technically done videos on we them haven't. yet. Well, we haven't. Well, we did an unboxing, but... Yeah, but there's detailed demos to come, but these are really cool. So, yeah. But uh, as far as pedals go, yeah, it's um, the Stone Def uh, stuff for me, and I want to check out the rest of the line next year. Yes. And we might be working towards that with people. People that know people. <laughs> The sounds you can do with it yeah. it's definitely interesting so for me as well actually honorary honorary mention goes because i put this thing together last year mm. or this year or last year depending on when you're watching this um new brands uh martin smith pickups uh oh, gotta oh, say honorary mention we're wearing a t-shirt of that as well and maker guitars have made the neck uh killer neck killer pickups so they definitely get an honorary mention but for me the Hands down, best new brand I've come across this year was Torn Fuchs Guitars. Uh, hello to Uwe and Robert, um, all the way in Germany. Uh, Torn Fuchs. So Fuchs, you got to think of it like books, but with a f sound. Yep. That's how it's about. So Tone Fox, Torn Fuchs. A uh, lot of people get that wrong. But yeah, amazing guitars. Absolutely mm. amazing guitars. Um, I Every guitar I pick up now, I kind of go, yeah, it's nice, but it's not a Torn Fuchs. So these are Tornfuchs guitars. It's a German, uh, the German, uh, uh, small German makers. There's two guys. Yeah. They're like uh, this tall. Yeah. They're small like German makers. Hobbits. Yeah. Two hobbits. Um, and they make these absolutely freaking amazing guitars. They're too good. Um, and I'm just going to say, before we even start this video, this Telecaster, te T-Style, i got to stop saying Telecaster. What is it? The Lovecaster. This Lovecaster. It's an L-caster. Okay. L-caster. L-style. L-style guitar. <laughs> This is, uh, as far as L-style guitars, this is probably the best L-style guitar. That one That's is. a T-style guitar that I've ever played that in That one's life. amazing. Freaking amazing guitar. The neck, I don't know if you can get a, look at that flame on that thing. It's freaking amazing. So, I'm, um, I'm, in a pro, I'm saving up money and then I'm gonna have a, t a talk to my friends Uwe and Robert. Mm. Mostly Uwe, I guess, because Uwe is the, he's the main okay. builder man guy. Mm. Um, Awesome guitars, and I, cool. I one day, one day, it will be mine. Yes, so, it so will be mine. That's seriously on the cards. You're... That's seriously on the cards, yeah, but I'm, 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 I yeah. need to sell a bunch of things first, and like body parts and things. Children, yeah, children, children and organs, and that's children's like, organs. That's less painful <laughs> <laughs> for me anyway. Yeah. So congratulations to Stone Deaf <laughs> Effects and Torn Fox Guitars for being the best new brand of the year. Now, uh, what are we up to? Okay. New categories for this year, I think. Yeah, new categories for this year. So we've got lots of new categories, actually. Yeah. Uh, best reverb slash delay. There were some really cool ones. So honorable mentions yeah. go to the KMA Cirrus. Hello, mm -hmm. Enrico, by the way. Uh, the Arturia delays that you actually use, they're killer. They're uh, software plugins, like, um, you know, computer stuff. Computer uh, <laughs> computer stuff like. yeah well, that's what the kids call it nowadays but uh, so, I mean it's not a pedal it's it's computer related things yeah killer delays though so um, honourable mention to them as well I don't know if you had any honourable mentions we did the podcast yesterday so remembering stuff is difficult I can't remember but um, the one we actually chose that was our favourite that we did was the shootout between it's actually two vintage units yes so one's the uh, Space Echo which is the triple five I believe Ari, Ari is it Ari? The rack mount one. Yeah, I'll put a link to the video. The chorus echo, and um, the other one is your 
boss the boss 100 one? something something yeah dm 100 <laughs> we're good at this i think it is link below so the winner is a video of ours yeah congratulations video of ours wow. congratulations gabor and alex for making an awesome video and it's just one of those things where pat yourself on the back yeah we'll do uh <laughs> it's kind of hard to go past really good tape delays and really good analog delays yes both really quite different but... <laughs> So congratulations yeah. uh, to our video tape versus analog. Mm -hmm. um, okay, best modulation, another new category. Just because we did so many videos this year, we had to kind of yeah. branch out with the categories. So uh, honorable mentions go out to the Mad Professor Double Moon. Uh, you like that? Yeah, yeah, I was quite surprised while we were shooting the video. So a lot of times with the videos, yeah. one of us will play the pedal for the very first time. Yeah. And it was literally for me the very first time, the, the video. So what you see in a video of the double moon is me playing the pedal for the first time. And I was really quite surprised how much I liked it because I'm usually not that big on modulation. Because it does all the classic kind of types of chorus and vibrato and flanging stuff, but it also goes into wacky, almost really unique sounds as well. Yeah, it's kind of, it's a unique modulation pedal. And a small footprint. And yeah, it's, cool it's and, really, really good. Yeah. So Mad Professor, kudos. Also, quite a surprise... The New X Mod Core Deluxe. So New X surprised me a lot because I yeah. think the three pedals we've done so far, and there'll be more, were really good. Um, cool. The Echo as well, the Tape yeah. Core, Tape Core, is that what's called? Oh, so good me. he was sneezing. Excuse me. Um, also, uh, um, uh, honorable mention to the Mammoth Machine Mastermind. Yeah. Uh, which is sort of a step tremolo thing. Step thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really cool. Watch the video. We'll put links to the videos below. Um, but the winner mm. was uh, one that we got a lot of comments on, uh, especially when people put headphones on and felt the stereo effect of it. Yeah. Uh, and it is the Dazzatronics Stereo Panning Optical Tremolo. Uh, just <laughs> such a cool sounding stereo effect. Like one of my, I think. My absolute favorite tremolo now. Yeah, right, cool. <laughs> it's such a cool tremolo. Looks great. It's um, it's actually the artwork really is great. Yeah, graphics. simple to use. It's not complicated controls. No, and um, not at all. Kind of it's one got of those a big light that pulsates to tell you the tempo as well, yeah. which is kind of cool. Three knobs. It's got a really good boost, so it can actually hit the front end of the amp quite hard too. Yep. Um, yeah. Great. Really, really good. Darren uh, well in Melbourne. Done. Uh, well done. That's a phenomenal pedal. Very so that's cool. best modulation. Now. Nice. Uh, new category, best amp. We did a whole bunch of amp videos mm. and amp comparisons. Now you had one that was in Germania. Mine is one that we don't have, but I did one, yeah. I did, uh, again, at this place, which is one of the reasons why I'm wearing this lo rather lovely shirt. Thank you, Michiel, by the way, for making the shirt. Um, <laughs> it's your fault. It's your fault, Michiel. Yeah. It's Belgian people. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> 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 okay, so do you want me to go first? I'll go first. Sure, yeah. Okay, so my winner... Um, Again, there are a couple for me, a couple of honourable mentions because um, we, I was lucky enough to play quite a few amps this year. But again, this doesn't just go. This is not about amps I've played this year. This is about amps we did videos for this year. Um, 
because otherwise there would be some Friedman stuff involved, but I didn't actually get around to doing proper full videos of it, but mm -hmm. hopefully it does to come. But honorable mentions go to the Rev D20, uh, which I think just super groundbreaking, um, future looking amp. That's just awesome. And I hope there'll be more amps with built in two notes to Peter stuff because the two note stuff is awesome. Uh, the Rev stuff is awesome, and I really, really like that amp. So, big sh shoot out, shout outs to that. Cool. Uh, and also the Blue Guitar Amp One. Mm. Now, I had the great pleasure of meeting Thomas Bluke from Blue Guitar, and he's awesome man. And I was really, really blown away by how those two little things yeah. sounded. And I actually, I'm not a metal guy, but I'm probably, I almost preferred the Iridium. Not saying that the other one, the Mercury Edition, the silver one is bad, but the Iridium just had something to it. I have to go and watch the video because not only does it sound good, but also he's playing phenomenal. He's a, he's a phenomenal guitar player. Great player. Uh, so awesome dude, phenomenal player. So, yeah. um, you know, that's a close runner-up for me. Mm. But for me, the winner, uh, and again, it's sort of almost like a new brand for me as well, and should have or could have almost gone into the new brand category as well, but Torn Fuchs were just so, blew me away so much. Um, Engel. Now, hello to uh, Jürgen and Martin um, from Engel, who were just the loveliest people as well. But the Engel Screamer Mark II, that's an amp. And again, for me, it was a, it was a close shootout. Well, not close shootout, but close um, decision between the Iron Bull sure. and the Screamer Mark II. Um, we had so many comments in our um, Gear Street videos, or in the Gear Street videos I uploaded, where we used the iron ball, how good it sounded. That little red yep. angle head. Sounds huge, eh? Such a great sounding amp. Um, but I went for the Screamer Mark II. I... I did a video in the basement, in Henning's basement, mm -hmm. where I'm amazed I got out of there alive. Um, there was like shackles on the wall and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. and skeletons and... Um, <laughs> no, don't worry. Um, but the Screamer Mark II, just really good clean, really good edge of breakup sound, really good rhythm distortion drive sound, and really good high gain drive for leads or high gain stuff. Um, it's a two channel amp but then each channel has or is it a three channel amp i don't know i don't remember now but it's each channel has a high and low gain side to it as well it has a mid uh, boost that you can switch on and off via the effects loop watch the little video i did um killer amp really 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 blew me away so uh angles cream mark two congratulations over to you uh, since I didn't get to play that one, I've, I played the original version a long time ago. The Screamer? Yeah. Well, RJ used to use it as well, RJ yeah, right. and he said that was one of his favourite amps. Uh, but that was a long time ago. But uh, for this year, I think my favourite was actually the uh, Studio Classic from Marshall. Oh. Head. Yes. Which is basically like the 20-watt um, 800 head. And uh, for me, it was just kind of... It's one of those things where it's that sound. Instant rock sound. Total rock, yeah. Mm. No apologies, straight down the middle. At normal meat, volumes. Meat, meat and potatoes, rock and roll. Or at more normal volumes. Yeah, more normal. You know, not 100 watts, but 20 watts. Uh, still freaking loud. But. So, um, yeah. Was... It's not one of those things I'd go out, those type of sounds I'd go out and look for, but you have a lot of fun playing it. Yeah. When it comes up, so. so, congratulations, Marshalls. Mm. Marshalls? Congratulations, sure. Marshall and Engel. Nice. Uh, best amps. Now, best amp sim. Mm. There's a few of those. We again did quite a few of those. Do you want to go first? 
Sure. Uh, my favourite was actually the Ampero. Oh, hot time. Mm, so mm. For me, it won actually kind of like on a few practical categories as well. It's built really well. It's um, quite compact. Uh, build quality is great. Um, touchscreen. The, yeah, touchscreen. Great the, touchscreen. Um, the price is actually kind of lower than a lot of the others. Yeah. And it actually felt better if not, so the same if not better than a lot of the other yeah. stuff I've tried. We haven't tried some of the super high-end things. Um, like Axe Fex or Kemper yet. Hopefully they'll come. But um, that kind of mid-priced um, amp modelling world, I think, is up there for me. Cool. Yeah. Cool, cool. For me, uh, it, it was basically the one I tend to use the most, and I use it at home a lot, which is the Onyx uh, on the Mod Duo uh, by Veja, V-E-J-A. Yeah, V-E-J-A. Veja. I think it's the Veja. guy's, Veja. I think it's the guy's first and last name oh, sure. thing. Um, but on a module, yeah, killer. I think it sounds amazing. I think it's a really, really good amp. Really f versatile too. So from really clean to quite heavy gain as well. There you go. And everything in between. Right so on. congratulations to. Um, well, I guess is it more devices. Yeah. Well, whoever programmed the stuff on well that guy, I think he's from Holland. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, okay. So that brings us to the pedal of the year. So honorable mentions. Uh, I think we had a couple of honorable mentions. What were your honorable mentions, Alex? Um, I think the orange from Mostronics. The orang, e. Uh, it's just orange. Okay. Uh, it's basically like an orange type amp drive in a box. Um, again, it kind of feels, falls into that category of can you lose yourself for a couple of hours? Yes. In the sound of the yes. pedal. Yes. Uh, that kind of gets me there. Um, the other honorable mention, I think we both agreed this is pretty cool. There's a Fairfield circuitry uh, fuzz that we've already talked about. Oh, sorry. Over there. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Excellent. And, um, it never gets old. So that's kind of another one especially that and some echo or reverb and you two hours of vanishes uh another honorable mention mm. probably uh the stereo mm. panning optical tremolo but does uh just another one of those ones you plug it in and you kind of lose yourself and for me probably very close seconds very close runner up uh but very very close the kma audio devices um Cirrus, mm. God, brain fart there for a second. Cirrus, uh, hello to Enrico. Um, it was just one of those videos that I did at 42 Gear Street. You weren't there again. It was it was at mm. this place. I'm getting sweaty in this stupid jumper in summer in Australia. Um, it was just, you know, sitting in a room, um, having uh, uh, Stefan there, Stefan Fast from the Pedal Zone, which if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do, because he's awesome. Um, and his playing is just so beautiful, and it's a, it's a delay reverb, but it has all this cool modulation stuff you can do with it, and envelope controlled modulation, which is excellent. And um, sitting there with him and Enrico, and Enrico twiddling with the knobs, and then turning other pedals on because we had his the KMA pedal board sitting on the oh, table. Cool. Yeah, yeah. And all that went into the Tone King Sky King, which is just such a lovely clean amp. And we were in Henning's studio, and the sound was beautiful, and it was just surrounding us, and and and. And Stefan played the Torn Fuchs Bulldog with, I think it's the Lydian tuning he had it in. And it just sounded just fantastic. And it was just uh, just an experience that's still with me. So um, that pedal is amazing. So uh, cool. go and check it out. And that was, for me, a very, very close runner-up. But now that leads us to the winner. So yes. who could be the winner, Alex? Oh, my who God. Who could it be? Oh, my God. Uh... Who could be the winner? <laughs> 
Sorry, can't take too much seat. enthusiasm. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> hey, we'll, just, we'll decide on this one because again, you could definitely lose yourself for an afternoon. I have lost myself for yeah. a couple of afternoons when it first arrived, and I've I've emailed the man who makes these, and I told him about it. Um, that and actually the pedal that won your pedal of the year last year. Mm. Um, those two together made me lose many, 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 many hours. And this is actually one of the first times ever in this five years of this pedal, uh, pedal of the year, five years of the pedal of the year. This is a fifth year of the pedal of the year. Um, I think this is the first time we actually both agreed on a winner. Yeah, I think so too. Because we usually only have two. Yeah. But So this is the 2019 Super Fun Awesome Happy Time Pedal Show Pedal of the Year Pedal of the Year winner. And it's the mood. Yay! Woo! Yay! By Chase Chris Williams. Big congratulations to Joel. This is actually, so out of, get the, out of five, this is the fifth pedal of the year we're doing. That's hilarious. And this is the third time he won pedal of the year. Yeah, you've got to st stop making such cool pedals and give other people a chance. Yeah, I man. I think that's just not fair. <laughs> um, just everything down to the build quality and paintwork and the... I mean, the chest, cool, chest bliss stuff, it's like always the, interesting. The it's machine knobs and stuff. Always unique. It's always different. Mm. It's always its own thing. Groundbreaking. And he's just one of those guys. He's just on another level. Joel, in my opinion, is just the stuff he makes. So, uh, big thank you to Joel, and also Thanks, big man. thank you, and, and very honoured again that we actually uh, received this as sort of like a pre-release, and we were part of the whole release thing with that. Um, um, big thank you to Joel and Chase Bliss, and yeah, it is quite an amazing pedal. Um, yeah. So there you go. Hey, our thoughts below. See what you agree with. See what you don't agree with. Um, well, if you don't agree with anything, that's... You know. That's okay. Um, what was <laughs> what were your favourite bits of gear from the year uh, from your own personal collection? Let us know. And um, what stuff we need to check out for next year, as well as there's links below to Facebook, Instagram, and our podcast. We've already mentioned we're going to talk about all this stuff. Yes. So uh, please check all that out. And So, yeah, big thank you once again to everyone out. who subscribed, everyone who watched... Everyone who shared, everyone who liked, everyone who commented uh, on any of the videos. Uh, it's been a massive year. Massive, 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 massive year. 170, I'm just going to say four videos by the time, maybe 74, 75 videos. Yep. Because, um, I mean, this is recorded a little bit early. <laughs> Magic of television. <laughs> um, um, and yeah, almost every second day a new video came out this year. And I mean, we're not full-time YouTubers. We both work. Yep. I have a family. I teach guitar. I play gigs. But I spend most of my time editing videos for stupid little pedals. <laughs> but they're awesome. Time so a boxes. big thank you to everyone who makes this possible and everyone who's involved. Um, it's a lot of fun to do this. Uh, big thank you again to all of these people on this shirt. Uh was an absolute honor meeting all these people and hanging out with these people and doing stuff with these people and befriending these people and there may or may not be some of those people coming up in podcasts not too soon so mm. you may stay tuned for that so and alex thank you very much thank you for letting us use uh, your studio no worries it's been cool it's been real <laughs> totally real it's been real <laughs> been real and just want to mention this we should have really set this at the start 
None of these manufacturers paid us a cent to say anything about their pedals or make their pedals winners. Um, these pedals are all... What we chose for this, it's all stuff we chose because we actually genuinely like it. Um, no money was exchanged, no favors were exchanged, nothing. Um, it's just, uh, you know, genuinely our thoughts and beliefs of um, who should win. win this prestigious award. Uh, on that note, thank you so much. Cool. See you, see you next year. See you next year. Bye. Bye.